to top our new seven-story parking garage. Um, we will be adding 108,000 square feet to the facility, which more than is just a 20% bump up in the gaming space. Um, because really what we're looking at here is amenities. Before the shovels even went into the ground last summer, we were very clear about our intentions. This expansion has never been about adding gaming capacity. Uh, the market has sent very clear signals that when it comes to slots and tables, we're pretty much tapped out, as we say in the business. Um, but for Sugar House, this expansion has always been about adding terrific new amenities um, and fulfilling the promise we made to Philadelphia when we first opened of a full service uh, destination style casino. So this is the next step on our way there. Um, we've talked before about the parking garage, we've talked about our new poker room, we even talked about our new second floor 30,000 square foot multi-purpose event space. All are part of the all new Bigger Better Sugar House. Today, for the first time, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, the food. <laughs> Some of the biggest names in food are either in Philly or from Philly. It's no secret, we take eating very seriously here. Philly's reputation as a food town is known internationally at this point. So when thinking about our new lineup of restaurants, we knew this decision was critical. Simply put, when it comes to food and beverage, the bar in Philadelphia is very high, so we needed a signature restaurant that could, literally, leap over it. For the past week or so, some of you may have seen a curious frog in Philly hashtag popping up here and there on billboards around town and on social media, or should I say, hopping up here and there. Who wrote that? <laughs> Like so many celebrities today, our famous frog has been moving throughout the city from landmark to landmark, impulsively tweeting his every whim and looking for a place to land. There's been a lot of speculation locally about this, but if you're on today, to be the first to know officially. I am announce right here, right now, that internationally renowned, award-winning Gibson's Restaurant Group will be opening its first ever Philadelphia location right here in the expanded Sugar House. Woo! Woo! The newest Gibson's Restaurant will be called Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House at Sugar House Casino. Woo! Woo! Gibson's Restaurant Group was founded more than two decades ago flourishing flagship restaurant, Gibson's Bar and Steakhouse, on Rush Street in the heart of Chicago's Magnificent Mile. Founders Steve Lombardo and Hugo Raleigh, and Steve is with us today, wave Steve. <laughs> what an accomplishment, very proud to have him with us today. Uh, fast forward to today, Gibson's Restaurant Group now has 13 restaurants in the U.S. in highly selective markets. Among them are such notable locations as the recently opened Boathouse in Orlando's downtown Disney, and also in our sister property, Rivers Casino in Des Plaines, Illinois, uh, just outside Chicago. Quite notably, Gibson's is the only restaurant group in the country to have earned its very own USDA Prime Angus Beef Certification. And in Philadelphia, very soon, there will be only one place you can get it, right here. So hashtag Frog in Philly has found its new home, and all of us at Sugar House are thrilled that Gibson's restaurant group is coming to Philadelphia. An extra thrill that Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House will be serving USDA Gibson's Prime right here for our Sugar House guests. Woo! While Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House, there's a reason we found each other. <laughs> While Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House will be operating as our signature steakhouse restaurant in the expanded Sugar House, that's not the only place on property you'll be enjoying Gibson's fantastic food. I am also pleased to announce today that Gibson's Restaurant Group will be the exclusive caterer of our multi-purpose event center. That means whether you're booking a corporate event, a wedding reception, a black tie gala, your customized menu will be provided by Gibson's. For event planners in Philly, that news is going to be delicious, we think. You've got floor to ceiling, second story riverfront bridge views, free parking, and a full menu from internationally renowned award-winning Gibson's Restaurant Group. I can't hold it in. <laughs> We're so excited to officially announce that Gibson's Restaurant Group has joined the Sugar House family. Up next, we're going to hear more about Hugo's Frog Bar and Shop House from Gibson's Restaurant Group managing partner, Patrick Houlihan. Patrick is here today with uh, Gibson's corporate executive chef, Randy Wadner. <laughs> the very hot, sweaty guy back on the grill. We're going to make it up to you, Randy. <laughs> 
and our new Hugo's general manager, uh, and our newest full-time Philly resident, Jeff Sabolski. That's the guy you want to know for the hottest new reservation in town. Uh, I anticipate they will talk in juicy detail about steak, including our first look and taste of something called the Philly Cut. Sounds very exclusive. Uh, as a special treat, we're also going to have a grilling demonstration courtesy of Gibson's, which will help get everybody in the right frame of mind for Labor Day cookouts. Um, and finally, we'll have a Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House menu sampling to whet your appetite for what's to come at your end. Ladies and gentlemen, here to raise the stakes, is Gibson's managing partner, Patrick Houlihan. Thank you, Wendy. This is the restaurant group. Thank you. Corner, Mr. Lombardo, who also joins us today. We are honored to be here and proud to be part of the Sugar House future. <laughs> Wendy, you and your sugar house team have to learn how to do that. <laughs> Start sharing crazy. So excited. <laughs> Wendy, you and your sugar house team have been tremendous collaborators, and we can't wait to be a part of this exciting, expanding operation. Our thanks to Rush Street Gaming, Chairman Neil Bloom, CEO Greg Carlin, and CEO David Pat. They have developed these phenomenal, world-class regional casinos and have invented, invited us to be part of them. First in displays at Rivers Casino. Love it, I'm sorry and now here in Philadelphia at Sugar House. Special thanks to Rush Street Vice President of Operations, Joe Scabetta, for his leadership in all the things, putting this deal together to probably make sure there's gas in the grill today. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to thank my Gibson's colleagues, Chef Randy Weidner, our GM, Jeff Sobalski, the chefs that came out, Brian Key and Carlos Farias, um, for their hard work and dedication. Opening new restaurants is like adding a new member to an already close-knit family. It's true that Gibson's now has 13 locations, which may seem like a lot or a little, depending on your perspective. And if you're at all superstitious, you might question, put a number 13 in the However, <laughs> <laughs> when you choose markets, <laughs> however, when you choose markets and partners as thoroughly and carefully as Gibson has over the it might surprise you to know that Gibson's has been approached numerous times by gaming companies to put our steakhouses in casinos and we have declined repeatedly. Then we met Rush Street Gaming, and in Rush Street Gaming, we found a gaming company that cares about the hospitality, quality, and value of their casinos the same way that we at Gibson's care about hospitality, quality, and value for our restaurants. That will be especially true of the expanded Sugar House Casino, and why we are so very excited to be a part of Sugar House's next generation. The flagship Gibson has been a pinnacle of Chicago dining since 1989. The locals are at the heart and soul of Gibson's. Some of them enjoy the food, the service, and the party atmosphere three to times a week. They are a family recognized and pampered from everyone in the establishment, beginning with owner Steve Lombard and Hugo Riley, and continuing through the restaurant staff, many who have worked at Gibson's since their inception. And finally, let's talk about the food. Hugo's for our Bar and Chop House will be serving USDA Gibson's Prime Angus Beef. Gibson's Restaurant Group is the first and only restaurant group in the country to have its own USDA certification Angus Beef Program. Gibson's Prime Angus is sourced from a carefully selected list of farms in the upper Midwest. The cattle that are in the region are far superior in taste, tenderness, and consistency. The cattle are raised, corn fed, and processed to Gibson's strict specifications, which set them apart from all the prime beef programs in the country. Gibson's works closely with its breeders, packers, and processors to deliver an unmatched level of quality and flavor second to none. Once again, on behalf of the Gibson's Retro Group, we thank everyone for coming. Now it's time for these guys to do what they do well, is talk about the food and answer any questions. So thank you once again.